Hey guys, this is Yoko Mizumari here for Days Till Dragon Con, um, week five. So they're all kind of starting to blend together. And I was going to show you guys, um, rather than doing an interview, I'm doing a sewing date with my friends. These are my ladies. Hello. This is Morgan's second appearance. Oh, hello. <laughs> but these are my awesome friends, my cosplay group, my con family. Um, and we're working on, um, I did a 4th of July bunny and... We kind of, like, all are doing different holidays now, so we have Thanksgiving and Halloween, and so we're working on those together, um, and then otherwise, I really haven't done much for my Dragon Con stuff, you can see my Harley wig still on their back, and <laughs> all that stuff, but haven't really been doing much for Dragon Con yet, <laughs> sadly, because uh, I had LASIK and been busy, but next week, hopefully, I'll have more of my sewing rooms clean and less chaos. And there's more con family. Catch. I'm so good at this camera, guys, right? All right. But thanks, guys. Just a short update. Thanks so much. Yeah. Making all the bunnies. <laughs> hey, guys. This is Yoko Mizuhara. Um, this is my second part of my week two follow-up for Word of the Nerd, uh, Days Till Dragon Con. Um, I wanted to do a second part because my first part was kind of rushed because I was doing it with some friends when we were having a sewing date. We're trying to get a lot done because uh, they had to head back home that day. Um, and so part of it was I wanted to do a shout out to all of our sponsors and say thank you. Man, I got Super Lens Flare right there. Um, anyway, so thank you to Becca Doodles, The Art of Cute, Art of Wigs. See my Harley wig back there being awesome. Um, Sugar G's Game Masters Guild, which my shirt is around here somewhere. It's super comfy. Um, Pop Cycled Bobbles, SuperheroStuff.com, Rising Mist Designs, Tanya Designs, and Balls. All the energy. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys some other stuff. Um, right now, I'm actually, again, like I haven't been able to make much progress because this week I'm actually packing up right now and in the morning I'm going to leave for a work convention. And this is for my work convention. We're uh, keeping it wild, keeping it weird, and so we're doing like where the wild things are, and so kind of dressing up with that for them. I like, only like two of the people dress up, and it is my first like time going, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna dress up because of some of like the, to make friends, um, and because I'm weird. Um, so other than that, I was gonna show you some of the stuff, um, Sunday when I was doing the other video. Okay, this is falling off, so it's going away. When I was doing the other progress video with my friends earlier in the day, we had made a, um, sewing trip. Oh, my hair's bad. <laughs> but anyway, we had made, like, a trip to go get a bunch of supplies, and that's what we had been working on, and so my spoils of fighting the crowds to Tandy's Leather and Fine Fabrics and Eddie's Trick Shop on, um, actually it wasn't Sunday, sorry, it was Saturday. But anyway, so, um, we went to find Fabrics, which is this huge warehouse that's over by Netherworld. It's actually in the same shopping area. So if you're ever in Atlanta, look up Find Fabrics or look up Netherworld if you can't find Find Fabrics. Um, and it is a warehouse. It is huge. It is overwhelming. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult if you have something really, you know, specific and simple to find. But if you do stuff like steampunk or like fashion. It is the best place. You can get, like, wool for $3 a yard sometimes. You can get silk for $10 a yard. I've already... I didn't end up buying much this time, but I already picked out stuff for my projects after Dragon Con there. I didn't buy them yet because I haven't patterned them, and even if it's only $10 a yard silk, I, I don't need more than I need. Um, but I did find this. Um, the only fabric I really had left to find myself was my lace for Regina, the Evil Queen, and they didn't have it. I, I kind of have given up on it. I've looked everywhere online. I feel like the only place I'm going to find something even close to it is um, this place downtown. Uh, totally blanking on it. Oh, Gel K. But generally, unless, you, unless I lucked out and got like a remnant, even if I only need a yard, their lace is like $100 a yard, and that's just really not my budget right now, especially considering that I don't think I'm going to have the time frame to really finish Regina. So rather than that, um, I bought this, and I'm going to fix up my old Regina costume that I made last year, and that's for all the piping on the edges. It's kind of like a pleather, but easier to work with. Um, so I'm going to add that onto 
here's part of my Regina that I made last year but I never really finished so I'm gonna add it around the edges to that one and then I'm also gonna do all the beading um, I'm taking it with me on my work trip and doing hand beading on the plane and like pretty much any downtime for since I'm gonna be gone all weekend um, I'm gonna be like at my work trip and just like yeah guys I'm totally listening and taking notes about this and um, not sewing instead the entire time <laughs> so yeah so that was my spoils from fine fabric we mostly went on um, we went with a bunch of girls so it was more for them than for me and mostly I'm trying to convince all my friends to slowly move to Atlanta and that was one of the things I'm like look look at this awesomeness it is awesome it's amazing huge warehouse um, one of the places I really want we also did Tandy's leather and again that one um, it was nice to go check it out and the people up at that Tandy's leather are super sweet so that was nice to finally actually see there because I'd never really needed leather stuff my friend did um, but and then the place I really wanted to go and I got some stuff for him was one of my favorite places in Atlanta it's Eddie's Trick Shop and they had a sale on Saturday 20% off anything in the store if you showed them you liked your page um, and it's not like I had gotten them like their last 80 likes so they would have that sale on that particular day when everyone was in town nope not, uh, not manipulating Facebook at all or you know not sharing that I did not share that page about half a dozen times and probably spam all my friends go please please just like it so I can have this sale on this particular day and get my stuff so with that note um, the main things I went to get and some of my other things got to was it's my favorite place to get makeup because for costuming so I got a different setting powder. I often use baby powder, but I got this one instead because it's an antiperspirant and it's a little whiter. And with my Harley, um, along the wig line especially, I know I'm going to sweat. I or my test run I already did. So I'm like, yeah, antiperspirant powder sounds like a good plan. And then also I got a little bit pinker of a cream for the benign for the cheeks on Harley. So, and this will be a little bit easier to use than getting it out of the color wheel with the three colors. Um, and then the other thing I got is just kind of a, it's a little janky, but I'm hoping that repainting this will help. Um, this is for my Deadpool Rogue, and it's the prop on the back. Um, I'm sad, I wanted to get some more stuff there that I thought they would have, and they just, it wasn't in stock. They're constantly, right now, this is Eddie's Trick Shop's super busy season, so they're sort of constantly changing. Um, but the good thing is, if I do decide to go back to get anything else that I, they didn't have this time, if they have it later, they all the time have 10% off if you just mention it's for Dragon Con. So that's really nice, and I, I love Eddie's Trick Shop. So, not that this is a commercial for them, um, but no, they are one of my favorite fine fabrics, and Eddie's Trick Shops are some of my favorite things that like Atlanta specific and not a lot of other places are you know they're not anywhere else uh, but you can also order from any strict shop online but then you have to pay the shipping for the makeup so uh which like doubles the price it sucks um but yeah sadly that's about it and i am i am kind of freaking out right now um i'm debating changing my lineup a little bit i mean i've already decided to change which regina outfit i'm doing and i'm gonna re-wear one but like a new and improved version um and so that'll be one change and the other change one thing i'm kind of freaking out about is i was just looking at when i'm wearing everything and i don't know i mean i have eight costumes planned right now and i don't know when i can even wear these like trying to figure out, okay, I want to wear the certain ones for certain parties, but then I want to wear certain ones for other photo shoots, and then when Har when I wear a Harley, um, it'll take me, you know, an hour to get, or it takes me about 20 minutes to get into her makeup, but it'll also take me 20 minutes to an hour to get out of her makeup, and then whatever other makeup, versus I normally, when I'm doing two or three costumes a day, I try to do, you know, the same characters, all the, you know, same kind of makeup, or do someone with light makeup first, so, like, I would do Artemis in the beginning of the day, and then do someone like Eno, who, all I'd really be changing is heavier eyes, um, and I can't do that with Harley, she's probably a beginning of the day outfit, and that, so I'm gonna have to, like, allow an hour or two in the middle of the day to change from that to my party one, so, 
trying to figure it out, especially um, herding cats, pretty much with all my different groups and everything, and it's kind of also dependent on which of my groups is actually going to happen, because like I, I have my friends over and we're at the uh, 29 day mark now, and they're about at the same point as me. Um, I might also, if some of my groups that I currently have planned don't happen, I might do my 4th of July bunny maid uh, instead. I'm, I feel like maybe I can do my guitar with my bunny maid, we'll see. Um, but so I might do that at one point just because I really love cosplay groups and my friends are all trying to get their bunny maids done for Dragon Con, so if there's a group I might do it, we'll see. It's all very um, fluid right now. I'm, I'm definitely, you know, definitely going to get Harley done, definitely going to get um, Haruko for the bunny suit done, and other, I'm, I might change which version of um, Princess Jasmine I do, because the author, or the, the artist also made, you know, his street rat version, which would be much simpler, much quicker, not dealing with my horrible fabric fighting this. Um, but right now, that's about it. I'm a little freaked out, but at the same point, I haven't, like, committed to a whole lot on these costumes, so if I have to change, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm you know, there, I definitely want to get more done, but we'll see. There's bigger priorities right now, um, like, that I have to, you know, rest a lot. I can't do any sanding. I can't do anything with fumes right now because I had LASIK, so, uh, you know, that's the most important thing for me right now is making sure to not, I mean, I can sew, and that's about it because anything else is a little dangerous with fumes or dust. But, yeah, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Yoko Mizuhara. And, ah. sorry guys, I'm out of holding this. Have fun and cause party on.